But Fort Worth, Texas, we're at the Stockyards. We mentioned it, Night of Champions. If you're just joining in with the live broadcast, Ronnie Moore here, one of the Bassmaster Live broadcasters. We're excited to bring you the Night of Champions. It's a special day of the entire Classic Week, and we get the opportunity to talk to anglers and their wives. We get the opportunity to preview the lake and the Classic, and then obviously we're going to crown, our, we're going to honor our Angler of the Year winner, Clark Winlet today and then we'll also probably honor Hank Cherry our defending champion as well and then all of the accolades normally we have the classic second third event maybe of the season we have a few a uh, few elites before that well for us we've had seven events before the classic this year and speaking of the classic I'm gonna go ahead and bring up our reigning and defending classic champion Hank Cherry we've also got his wife Jacqueline Hank you've got the cherry red on you guys are dressed for the occasion my question to you, is a back-to-back -back a possibility for you? Only It's only happened three times previously in classic history. Could you do it back-to-back? -back? I'm definitely capable. Uh, I think I'm around the right fish. Everything's just got to go my way. Um, it's an honor to be here. Well, I'll be blessed to win it twice. I was blessed to win it first. If it didn't work out my way and I get to hand it to one of my buddies, that's equally just as good. So either way, I'm great. Happy to be here. Well, Jacqueline, my question for you is you're the wife, you're not the angler out on the water, but last year you were here at the Night of Champions enjoying the whole week, the process at Lake Gunnersville when we had that event. Did you think by Sunday evening you would be on the stage with flowers in your hands, maybe a trophy in your husband's hand? I mean, did you think that? Now it's a, it's a real reality for you that that's, that could happen again. Yeah, I mean... I honestly, at that moment last week, I, I had to think that it was a possibility because I'm his biggest fan. So, of course, I'm going to go, well, heck, yeah, it could absolutely happen. You know what I mean? Um, if we did it again, like he said, Lord willing, that would be amazing. But, I mean, just to be here in this moment is very surreal still because I feel like it's just such an honor. Like, I mean, it truly is an honor to be here, 100%. Well, not everybody gets the chance to win a classic, and not many have a chance to defend it. You, for one, this is a different time of the year. No one, we've never had a June classic. Uh, are you excited about it? It may not fit to your jerkbait pattern that everyone thinks, but they probably are shallow enough to maybe bite it. Are you excited about the fishing this week? I am 100% excited and ready to go. I've been crawling out of my skin since the second day we got here. I'm just ready to get things going and see how it turns out because I think no matter how I do, I think we're going to have a phenomenal week. There's going to be some very big fish caught. And I think the fans and the sponsors, everybody's going to be very happy. Yeah. Let's go. Awesome. First time at Ray Roberts, the classic defending champion, Hank and Jacqueline. Appreciate you guys. Enjoy Night of Champions. We're going to honor you later, and it's going to be great. Awesome. Appreciate y'all. Hank, Cherry, Jacqueline, a crazy 2020 for them. The, probably the longest, ang or the longest classic champion reign of anyone ever. And why not go from classic champion to our angler of the year, Clark Winley. Clark and Patty, how are you guys tonight? Clark, it's obviously... You might be the second nervous person other than me right now because you got to deliver a speech later, but it's to honor you on your great season last year. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, it's a dream come true. Angler of the Year is, to me, it's the most prestigious award in bass fishing, and, and uh, yeah, I'm thrilled. I mean, yeah, I'm nervous about the speech, but I think I can get through it. Well, Patty, for him, Clark's been a very successful angler for a long time. He's checked off a lot of boxes, Angler of the Years and whatnot. For you as a family, through all the ups and downs of fishing, what would it mean for you as a wife to see your husband become a classic champion 2021 you know maybe sunday evening oh it would be the best i mean it really would just be the icing on the cake for his career so this is really angler of the year is a highlight but this would be right up there with it so clark we're in your state of texas only the third time we've ever had a classic here i know you haven't fished ray roberts much maybe this last week was your first time but is it setting up to be a texas size classic where are we going to see some big fish and is it in your alley? Are you feeling comfortable about this week? I actually do. I feel real comfortable. I mean, I've been actually looking at the water levels. You know, every year about this time, May and June, there's a peak on the water level. And this year it happened exactly the same way. So I like that. I like the fact that it's going to kind of level the playing field and there's going to be some big ones caught. I can promise you that. Awesome. Well, hey, like Hank Cherry and Jacqueline, we're going to honor Clark and Patty, Angler of the Year from last year, later tonight at Night of Champions. We appreciate y'all and hope you enjoy your evening. Oh, awesome. Here. That's Clark and Patty Winlet. We're excited to honor our Angler of the Year from 2020 tonight. Now we've got Matt and Emily Airy. Matt, I did. 
of course, why would I forget her name? Come on, she welcomed into the house and, and offered us food. You gotta remember the name, but Matt, how excited are you? A Bassmaster Classic uh, appearance is something that people check off their resume for all time. You did it last year, Gunnersville checking that off. And you're a veteran, but those bright lights can still get to even veterans. Bit. Now it's your second classic. Is it one of those things where, hey, you've enjoyed some of it, you're still going to enjoy it, but now you're determined to maybe make that top 10, super six, and maybe even win it on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, the goals this week are pretty obvious. I mean, we're all happy to be here. You never take one of these opportunities for granted, um, you know, to win. I mean, that's, that's all there is to it. Yeah, you, you come to this tournament for one reason. There's no points on the line, so that's – that's a lot of stress off your back, especially with the season I'm having lately. So uh, I am, uh, I'm out here for one reason, and that's taking on that trophy. Well, Emily, normally the wives that support these anglers all year are at home behind a computer, looking at Bass Track, watching Bassmaster Live, worrying for their husbands. But you guys get to enjoy it this week, get honored a little bit, get treated, but then also root them uh, from the crowd. How cool is it to see your husband come through the arena and have people cheering, have him holding up fish, experiencing uh you know accomplishing a dream that he's always probably wanted to do yeah it's an incredible feeling and to be in texas and get to explore fort worth and dallas and the area it's just been amazing and it's a great place for a family so we've had a ball and we're just tickled to be here that's awesome matt emily we appreciate y'all enjoy night of champions good luck on friday you have one more day to not think about fishing but you might think about it even more so <laughs> we'll see you friday at uh ray roberts first cast Thanks. Matt and Emily Airy, North Carolina anglers and families. And now we've got, I mean, we've got a special treat. Not a husband and wife, but a father and son, Seth. Yep. Pete, how are you guys doing? Good. Everything great? Yep. We're excited to have you. You always show out, it seems, at the biggest moments. You have that confidence, and the Classic's a place to display that last year, fourth place. You excited, Seth, to be able to get a shot at Ray Roberts, a place that really no one in our field has really fished that much. Yeah, no, I'm real excited. It should be a really good tournament. I think we're going to see some really good weights. Um, we got stable, consistent weather, something we don't usually get for classics, and uh, I'm excited to get out there. Well, hey, I have a question. You've, you've grown up and you've known him his whole life. Correct. Did you think at a certain point when he was a young kid that he would be the Seth fighter, the amazing fighter man, Llama, he would have so many fans rooting for him and he would become such a name in the sport pretty quick in his career as well. Well, when he first decided that he was going to do that, he was very young and I kind of went, right. But his mother backed his dream and really pushed him towards it. And we all did. We supported him 100%. And once he got going, we knew it was going up. So That's fantastic. Seth, not only do you want to win a Classic this week, you are on top of the Bassmaster Angler of the Year with two events left, two events and places that you've done very well in the past. How exciting is it for you to kind of get a reset, be able to use the classic momentum a couple weeks off, and then get right back into it to try to finish it off back-to-back -back weeks and maybe win your first Angler of the Year, maybe after your first classic as well? Yeah, no, it, it is nice. I've been chasing points all year and take a break from that and just try to win a derby is really cool and then you know to finish the year off up north in new york i love going there and you know hopefully everything works out and we can uh win something this year anyways whether it's champlain or a classic or an aoi whatever it'd be nice to go home with something but uh no real excited about it couldn't be in a better position really one angler in our pre-classic predictions picked themselves to win I like the confidence from Seth. He picked himself. Hey, if you're not picking yourself, who's going to pick you? So appreciate you guys joining us. Seth, Pete, good luck this week. Seth Fighter leaving the stage with his dad. We're going to welcome in the guy I rode with all day long in practice for the final day out on Ray Roberts, Patrick Walters and his wife, Emily. How are you guys doing tonight, Patrick? I was obviously out on the water with you, so I don't want to talk about that as much. People can look at the gallery online and see how our day was. It was interesting, but... For a classic, you got the taste of it last year at Lake Gunnersville, and now you get this chance to maybe really dial it in and go for the win. You always go for the win, but second classic, it's much more determined. It really is, and as you can tell, it was a little hot out here today. Ronnie's got them coon eyes working. I done told him to put that sunscreen on, but hey, it's the Bassmaster Classic. Big bass, big stage, big dreams, and that's what it's about this week is we went out here and I can tell you what, we canceled a lot of water out today, but we're going to have fun. We're going to go fishing, not worry about anything. It's the classic. There's no points on the line. 
we really don't have anything to lose. If we finish last place, it's the same as finishing second place. So we're going out there. We're going to have fun and enjoy it. We're going to go have fun, go fishing. Hopefully she's going to keep me stable and uh, we're just going to go see what happens. That's what I was going to mention. Uh, the wives of our anglers are just as important as the angler's skill. And Emily, you have been with Patrick dating when he was in college and then opens and then engaged and now on the Elite Series. Did you think when you started dating him that this guy who liked to bass fish would turn into something that you can pay your bills with and maybe take home uh, an honor that very few have ever done this week at the Classic? Not at all. Actually, when he first told me that he wanted to fish for a living, I kind of laughed at his face and I was like, can you come up with a better job for my parents to hear? Because I didn't even want to tell them that. I was like, oh, this is it. I don't know. I've never heard of that before. But I mean, obviously, it's a whole world that I never knew about, which I'm getting to know. And it, I mean, it's really great. The people here are great. And it's been a fun journey to be on. That's fantastic. Hey, it take, for every great angler, there's a, a great wife behind them. Obviously, you did not on your own free will go get this hat and get it perfectly sized. I know she helped with that. So big bass, big stage, big dreams, big hats this week. Texas. It's Texas. It is. It. I even got a belt buckle just for the occasion. So Patrick, Emily, we appreciate y'all. And we'll see you later tonight and uh, throughout the rest of the week. Thank you, Ryan. Patrick, Emily Walters. Now we've got a first-time classic qualifier. What's going on, Tommy? Christy Williams, how are you? How you doing, Ron? Hey, it's an honor to see guys like you make the classic. We've got the guys who fight it out on the Elite Series all year long. We've got the defending classic champ, things like that. But to win a Bassmaster Open, 200 anglers, the bet, really one of the hardest fields in professional fishing, to win it, and you won it down the street of Louisville. How does that make you feel coming back to Fort Worth in an area that, hey, you already tasted success. Maybe just go ahead and win this thing. And it's three days just like you're open. It is. You know, I, I'm beginning to be fond of the Trinity River down here. It, uh, you know, this lake isn't fishing like Louisville did. It's not even anywhere close to Louisville. It, uh, you know, obviously it is right over, the, right over the hill, but they're not fishing like each other. And, uh, to be able to be here, just to be here, and when uh, when Chris Bowles finally announced that, uh, hey, how about the Bassmasters Classic? You know, I, I really didn't expect that at the time. It uh, it was very overwhelming for me, but we're getting used to it right now. It uh, we've had an outstanding time here. The bass is taking care of us. It uh, you know we couldn't ask for anything any better. The 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 Champions Night the. The, the hospitality that the Omni has showed us, uh, the hospitality that Bass has showed us, this is absolutely an outstanding event. And we just can't get wait to get out there and get after them Friday. Well, we know the anglers are focused all about fishing all week long. And the wives maybe are on the back burner taking care of everything else that's just important. Where we're supposed to go, what time you're supposed to get there, how you're supposed to dress, anything like that. For you to see your husband accomplish a lifelong dream and make it here, now you get to sit, ba sit back and watch him get nervous about it. How cool is it to see someone probably so calm, cool, and collected show a little nerves because it means this much to him this week? Yeah, it definitely means a lot to him. He, it's been a long time coming, and he's worked hard, a lot of years to get here, and it's super exciting. I'm very proud of him, and it, we're just excited to get this tournament underway and, and see what it brings. Well, Tommy, one last thing. Normally we see anglers win opens, and then they're just a flash in the pan. Maybe they disappear. They maybe don't qualify for the elites in the future. You, though, won an open to end last year, and now this year, 2021, you're doing very well in the open so far, about half the season done overall. How does this, it's kind of a reset, a little breather, fun. Last place gets paid just as much as, you know, as 30th. Now you get to then refocus on qualifying for the Elite Series, which would be a, probably a dream come true for you as well. Oh, yes, absolutely. The, the Elite Series is what we're after here. Uh, we have uh, four more qualifying tournaments. Uh, we're going to Oneida right after this. Uh, I think then the St. Lawrence. Uh, I am super stoked over this. I can't wait to get up and get after some of them small mouth up there in Oneida. Um, you know, we just had a good tournament at the James River. We've had a good tournament at Douglas. We've had a good tournament at Pickwick. Uh, I've got a little momentum going here, and uh, I'm, I'm just really looking forward, and I'm very excited to being out there Friday morning and uh, to experience the, the Bass Masters Classic. This is bass fishing. That's awesome. Tommy Christie, great to have you guys here. I hope you enjoy the night. Hope you think about something other than fishing, at least until Friday morning, and then it's all fishing from there on out. So it's great to see you all. Enjoy the night.
Tommy Christie Williams from Kentucky making the Bassmaster Classic. And now we're going to bring up a guy who's factored in our Angler of the Year race the last few years, Stetson Blaylock and his wife, Lindsay, from just down the road. I feel like I see y'all everywhere, whether it's locally in Little Rock, eating some food or wherever the Bassmaster Elite Series goes. Stetson, you're a veteran of the sport. You've won Elite Series events. You've factored in Angler of the Year titles and been close. You're still pretty new to the Classic, but are you much calmer this year compared to your first time? Well, I think calm is, you know, I never get uncalm, I guess, if that's a, a correct term. But, you know, laid back is more what I like to, is how I like to live. You know, I try not to worry about the things I can't control. Uh, Lake's fishing tough this week, but somebody's going to win, and there's not many guys here, so you got a pretty good odds of winning. Well, and that's one thing for the wives. They have to keep their husbands excited because sometimes great practices don't turn into great tournaments. So for you, is that all you're preaching to Stetson this week is, hey, it's three days, it's 15 bass from you be becoming a Bassmaster Classic champion, and that would just set Stetson apart from a lot of other anglers from his list of accomplishments. I think the main thing is it's just one fish at a time. That's what I've always told him, just one fish at a time, worry about it one at a time, and that's all you can take care of. Stetson, you've fished the Elite Series for a couple years now. Uh, you, you've done very well in the Angler of the Year points. This is kind of a, a different deal. We normally have the Classic and seven events afterwards. We've already done seven. Now we're going to have two after this. How much of a little reset, three weeks off, and then two in a row to end the season is this motivation that, hey, your days are limited. You've got 11 maximum days left of the season. you got to get it done. There's no doubt about it that it, it's a totally different feel this week. Because honestly, I want to win this tournament, but all I can think about is where I'm at in the points. And I know I haven't been in this spot in the last couple of years. I have to catch them in the next two events. And to be honest, it's hard to not look past this tournament to try to make sure I'm here again. You know, I love this experience. This is my second classic, and I don't want to miss one. And so, so I don't want to look past this tournament, but at the same time, I want to make sure I do everything I can to make it next year for sure. Well, Stetson, Lindsay, your Elite Series champion. We're going to hand it from one Elite champion to another. Stetson, Lindsay, I appreciate you guys. Enjoy your night. We'll see you Friday morning, first cast. Like I said, we're handing it from one Elite Series champion to another. And this guy has been with Bassmaster. His rookie season was the inaugural season of the Elite Series. Bill Lowen accomplishing a lifelong dream last uh, or this year, a couple of events ago. I talked to you about it the last few years, and you said, a win doesn't define my career but the lasting impact you have on this sport is what defines your career. I saw all the social reaction to your win. That told me everything I needed to know about Bill Lowen's legacy, but how nice is it looking in your office, in your man cave, wherever it is, at that big blue trophy, and, and you did something that you've always wanted to do? I think if you keep it up, you're going to make me cry again, you know? Um, I think if I learned anything from this whole deal is that, um, one, I made the whole fishing community cry, I believe. And that, uh, you know, I just truly didn't believe how many people were fans or supported me, you know. Um, so it's been just truly amazing. You know, like you said, when I started this, I never wanted to be the best angler in the world. Just wanted to be the best ambassador for the sport that I can be. And a win, if I ever got one, would have been amazing. And it's more than I could ever imagine, you know. So it's been uh, up to this point. It's been been crazy. Jennifer, we, I've mentioned it with every single angler coming up. Every great angler has a great wife. And we know Team Scream. If you've never seen Jennifer or know who she is, you've heard her at every Elite Series weigh-in. The support that you, your daughter, your son show your husband, I mean, you guys, you're in it for the long haul. You travel. It's a way of life. How cool was it to see your husband accomplish a goal that he's probably fought for his entire life and been close before? To see that moment, him bagging up the fish, they put him on the scales, and you knew most likely that he got it done. How exciting was that for you? It was an amazing week, for sure. Don't make her cry. I don't want to make her cry anymore. <laughs> Bill, uh, I will say, classic pre-predictions, anglers filled out who they thought was going to win it this week. It's a lot of Bill Lowens on that board. Flooded cover this week, four-ish feet high uh, for Ray Roberts in June. Is this setting up to be a style that you're going to be comfortable with for three days, 15 bass? You know, it's going to be a style that I'll definitely be comfortable with. You know, any you don't get a lot of opportunities to fish a Bassmaster Classic the way you would love to fish it. Um, and this is definitely setting up for that. Now, look, Ray Roberts is not easy. It's hard to get a bite. I mean, you go two, three, four hours between bites. And uh, this is going to be one where you got to keep your head screwed on straight and just know that any minute you could get a bite. So when you do get that opportunity, you don't goober it up.
and uh, I'm fishing this one to, to win. I'm not worried about a limit, um, you know, which is typically my game. Um, so it's either going to be really good or it's going to be really bad. Well, Bill, you've already had a cherry on top of your season winning an Elite Series event. Why don't you just go ahead and take the Classic and just knock off two big checks 2021. We appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoy Night of Champions tonight, and we'll see you at Media Day tomorrow and then Friday first cast. Yeah, you. awesome. Thank you. Bill and Jennifer Lowen knocking down that Elite Series victory he's always wanted. And we're going to invite two more people. Hey, if you see Bill Lowen, you're not going to look very far before you see this man, man, Matt Heron. Matt, it's not very often you get to fish a classic on a body of water that you've won at. Not many people could say they've probably done that especially with the few opportunities we've had bass events at Ray Roberts. For you, feel a little comfortable or a little uncomfortable fishing a place that you've had success at in the past? Well, I like the way the lake fishes, so I kind of feel comfortable right, you know, with that. But the conditions are totally different, and it, uh, it's really got the high water's got them busted up, scattered out. And, you know, maybe some of that past knowledge, I'm hoping when the sun comes out, they, uh, they, they'll set up on some stuff. Because I caught them a little deeper here. I had a few bites in practice doing it, so, you know, it was kind of funny. When I went into that tournament, the TTBC that I won, it, uh, I was really struggling, and I was getting two or three bites a day. And, I'm a, you know, I'm a fly-by-the-seat-of-my-pants guy. I love to, you know, and, I, and I've always said I'll turn one bite into 20 pounds before you blink your eyes. And that's, you know, I'm going to fish open-minded and try to get that one bite and read the tea leaves and roll with it. Candy, obviously you have to keep, anglers have to keep every, or anglers' wives have to keep every angler kind of calm this week. Hey, be confident, you're going to catch him. To see him accomplish a goal, make a classic as many years as he has, but now to maybe be a favorite in it, it's got to be a special moment, even if it doesn't turn out to be a win, for him to be highlighted as much as he has this week at Ray Roberts is probably very cool. It has, and just trying to keep him calm, and I've never been here when he's won. I mean... That would be the best, the best. That would indeed be the best. Matt, one last thing. You mentioned it, four feet high. It's got the fish spread out. For Ray Roberts, for people who don't know, I mean, how hard is it to find good fish that have plenty of bushes to go to? Are you, are you for people who don't know, are you going to look for a hard edge, you know, something that's going to keep the fish from going any farther, or are you going to look for a point of bushes? Is there a way for fe people to fish flooded cover and maybe find them a little faster than if they try to do it on their own. Well, you always try to keep the bank in front of you. You always want to keep a wall behind them. But, you know, there's also certain conditions that they can get that you can manage. But you get, you got to be able to manage what they're doing and where they're doing it. And there's keys to high water fishing, and that's that's what you kind of got to do. And you use what you know about the, the, the habits of the fish and uh, take what the lake gives you. The, the problem we got right now is the stuff that's really productive is small areas. And, you know, I'd we'll be curious to see how many guys, when this thing, we say go Friday morning, who all is dialed in on what the, the, the areas need to be and what all, how it plays out, because the fish are acting real squirrely. But, you know, that's what's funny. This lake is amazing in that with 54 of us, it's swallowing the whole field. I mean, it's, you, you know you're fishing behind people, in front of people, but yet you'll go all, I've been all day and never see another boat, another competitor's boat. And you're kind of looking over your shoulder like, where are they? I know they're around here somewhere. But, it, uh, you know, there's, there's rules about high water fishing, and, and I like it. And uh, I like having to adjust on the fly. So let's, let's see what happens. We will see what happens. And you'll be able to watch him on Bassmaster Live day one. If you want to get a seminar and fish in flooded bushes, you can watch him all day, day one of the Classic. Matt, Candy, I appreciate you all. Enjoy the night, and we will see you the rest of the week. Matt Heron, we were referencing the TTBC that he won here at Ray Roberts. It was about May in 2016, but the water was higher, just like it is now. We're going to go ahead and bring in an Elite Series champion. What is it, five? Five-time champion, six-time overall. Brandon, Tiffany, you've won everything. You've won Elite Series. You've won Angler of the Years. You've now won an Open. You've won the Nation. You can't go back and win college and high school, but you can maybe win a Classic this week. Is Ray Roberts setting up to a, uh, to make you feel comfortable this week at least, or are you excited that you're only 15 bites away from maybe winning? If I get 15 keeper bites, that is going to be a win for me this week. The way my practice has gone and it's not been good, I don't know if that jacks up everybody's fantasy teams or not, but it's just I have not gotten on something, but that doesn't mean that things can't materialize in the next three days. I mean, that 
gives me the open mind to be able to move around. If these fish want to change, I'm going to be able to adapt with them. I'm not locked into any one thing. I just got to run across the five right bites. Tiffany, I know you've been in the camper every day. He's checked in from uh, practice, whether it's an elite event, the classic, whatever it is. And he's probably been like, I've had a tough day 90% of the time. And it's worked out pretty well for him. So is that what your, your message to him is? You've only had four tough days. That's so small of a percentage compared to the rest of your career. You're going to have a great event this week. Um, usually when he says he has a tough practice or he has a tough practice, it, the turnout's usually positive. So in my mind and with Kyle Black at the camper, we're like, wait, is this, this is good, right? Like if he's doing good in practice, it's not always the best outcome. So we kind of like to see him struggle. It, it makes him work a little extra hard. Well, you've already got a win in the state of Texas at Sam Rayburn. You've already got a win this year at the Opens James River. Maybe you just have to think, hey, I'm on the James River, maybe a little Sam Rayburn, and just mix that in this week uh, and get it done. But, yeah, Brandon, Tiffany, appreciate y'all. Enjoy tonight. We're going to honor all of y'all at Night of Champions tonight. Brandon, Tiffany, soon to be married, long-time uh, couple, really a staple in the sport of bass fishing. Brandon's one to watch this week for sure in fantasy. He said, hey, maybe it'll mess up the team, maybe it won't. Now we've got a Texas-sized couple here, the Fort, the Fort Worth kid. We're going to call you that. For, instead of the California kid, we'll call you the Fort Worth kid this week. Chris Aldane, Trait. It's got to be exciting. I don't know if you're sleeping in your own bed this week, but it's a great possibility, and it's a, probably a body of water you've spent a lot of time on at least the last 12 months of the calendar year. Oh, absolutely. In the off season, how many days did I spend out there? She got mad at me. I was spending a whole But You know, when we get done with the Bassmaster Elite Series, you know, it's, it's the fall. We're supposed to spend this time at home. And, and, uh, and you know, I drove that 50 minutes from our house to Lake Ray Roberts every day for like seven or eight days straight trying to learn more about Lake Ray Roberts. And, uh, yeah, she'd call me at uh, 12, 1 o'clock. When are you going to be home? When are you going to be home? That type of thing. So I was like a normal angler at that point. So in the off season, uh, that's how it is at home. Um, but, yeah, no, we're staying our own, uh, at, our, at our own house, you know, this week. And it's, it's kind of a weird feeling, dude. I, you know, I back my boat in um, to the garage there every single night, get to rig up in my own garage. That is really, really cool. Um, so it's about 35 minutes from where we're staying right here in downtown Fort Worth. We do live just outside of the, uh, just outside of the city here. And again, it's about a 45 to 50 minute drive every single morning. But um, did a lot of homework here, um, lots and lots of homework here. But with the water being four feet high, this week, it's, uh, you know, it's it's really anyone's game, but um, got some history here. Quick story real quick, you know, uh, uh, three days after the Classic was supposed to happen in March, uh, I went out here and, and caught almost 35 pounds worth of bass. So no matter what, all the guys come up on stage here with you tonight and tell you about how tough it is, how tough it is, how tough it is. They absolutely live here. They live here, and Trey, you and Chris is really a fishing family. You're competitive on the Opens. Chris fishes the Elite Series. You've seen him come up so close the last three years in winning an Elite Series event. Do you guys get the feeling when it's kind of a home run derby with the Classic that this fits his style? And, hey, why don't you just make up for all of the close Elite finishes with a Classic win in his home city that, or where he lives right now uh, this week? Yeah, that'd be nice, but uh, I don't want to talk about it, you know, <laughs> so... Yeah. Uh, that's the good thing. He hasn't been so cocky this week, which is different, you know. Normally he's like telling me, you know. So I feel like maybe he does, you know, have a good feeling, and we're maybe trying to do it a little different this time. So I don't know, but it's what. No, we're trying not to talk about the fishing, but how about the outfit? So how about? How yeah. about yeah, we got belt buckles, we got cowboy hats. Everything is showing off this week. Yeah. It's fantastic. And and Chris, I'm gonna say this. This is a good little, this is weird. This is the first time the Classic's been in June, but it's a good little pause in the season, probably for you, a mental reset before you go up north, and one that you get to have fun. This is a fun event, one that everyone in the world will trade places with, the guy who finishes last week, this week. It's got to be special to you, just carrying that Bass brand and fishing the Classic. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, you know, 54 guys here this week, and, and this is kind of a special one. Lake Ray Roberts has got kind of a special personality to it. And I've been saying it all week long. It's, you know, this week, these three days of competition, it's literally like fishing uh, a one-day tournament three days in a row. 
Uh, so conditions are always changing out here. You know, the water fluctuation, this and that. Guys are going to pluck them off the bank. It's June. They're not supposed to be on the bank. Um, so we're just going to take it one, uh, you know, one day at a time, one fish at a time. But uh, there's no place we'd rather be than the uh, classic stage. Well, you guys, I obviously detoured him off the closed topic, kept him on fishing just for you guys at home. But Chris, Trey, appreciate y'all here. Enjoy tonight. Night of Champions. We'll honor you guys and then media day tomorrow. First cast Friday. I know you'll be ready. Chris and Trey Zaldane, the Fort Worth natives now making home here. We're going to bring it to a guy who, to be honest, I'm just glad you're here. You have been everywhere and nowhere at the same time, all of 21. The most traveled man and wife on the Elite Series, John Cox. How are you guys doing today? And obviously, your only day of practice this week for the Classic was today. So what would you learn out there? Oh, man. Uh, you know, I learned that uh, I love this area. Uh, I'm getting to dress up like this, which is really cool. Uh, we got to go into some of the shops. I mean, it's an awesome town. Really love Fort, Fort Worth. And uh, the lake looks good. I mean, I got six or seven bites. You know, it's flooded. Couldn't ask for anything more. So I'm excited. This has been a very interesting year for him, fishing about 437 events in 52 weeks. I don't know how he's doing it, but I do know you're a big part of it flying to places, meeting him, driving through the night to get him there. You did it for Neely Henry. We gave you a little break with the postponement today, let you sleep. But how cool is it to see your husband really do something that hasn't been done in fishing, fish as much as he has. And to be honest, I don't know how he's standing, but he's doing very well as well. So far, he's going really well. You know, I'm actually really impressed that uh, he's, he's making it and, and going strong. So, yeah, it's going good. Yeah. And, John, I'll say, you said you had one day of practice. It was today. Does that play into your favor, knowing that, yes, the lake was high on Friday when practice started, but that the rain that's came in has not only made it high, but kept it high. They're not going to suck it down. You're putting your eyes on the lake for the first time today. Basically, the last cast is, the, is your last impression before Friday. You're kind of more fresh eyes on the lake than any of these other anglers. Yeah, I heard some of the other guys talk about how how much higher it got. And, uh, you know, seeing it for the first time, I, I honestly thought it was kind of on that, you know, it was kind of evaporating some today. I thought it was going down a little bit. And uh, so it's kind of exciting. You know, I, th I think it's going to turn into a really good tournament. I think a lot of these guys that uh, had a few bites um, are going to go into those areas and, and, and catch a lot more fish than they, they did in practice. So I'll say one last thing. Everybody loves high flooded conditions because it makes it seem like it's going to be just gnarly fishing, awesome, big fish out of bushes. That's what you want to see. But for anglers at home, dialing them in, dial them in on, is it better that the water is consistently rising maybe into the event or if it fell slightly? We always think falling water is ominous, but for bush fishing, maybe falling water could be a good thing this week. Yeah, I mean, for the lake we're on, I'm getting chills thinking about this. <laughs> But so the lake we're on, there is like, there's so many bushes. There's shorelines, every, I mean, miles and miles. So the high water uh, spreads about a little much. You don't know where to make the cast. So here, the water falling slightly, uh, it's going to pull them out to them places. We're going to be able to pick them off. And, uh, you know, it should be a fun tournament. It will be a fun tournament. I'm glad John Cox is here. I'm glad you're here as well. Cowboy hat looks good on you, man. I don't know how it's going to fit in in DeBerry, Florida, but I think you could rock it. Uh, yes, I like it. I like it. We all got bell buckles this week. John and Melissa, appreciate you guys. I'm glad to have you this week. We're going to honor you all tonight, uh, the rest of the anglers, and we'll see you Friday for fishing. We got one cowboy hat to another. We're going to go from a black cowboy hat, though, to a white cowboy hat. We've got, hey, how are you, Kim? We've got Kim and Brandon Lester. I've said it backwards all week. I've, I've always said the angler and then the wife, but because she decided to give me a hug, I said her first. I hope you're, I hope you're not mad. You're one that's uh, pretty quiet. Maybe people won't think about a Brandon Lester in a classic, but man, you're going to break through and win one of these things. You've been so close in opens, which really resemble this format. Uh, you've also been close in elite series events. We're going to see that breakthrough. Will it be a Ray Roberts this week for you? I sure hope so. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it shakes out, you know, but I've really been thinking all week just exactly what you said. I'm glad this is not an elite series tournament because I'm literally, and I've said this before, but I mean it this week, I'm, I'm pushing all the chips in. I'm going to leave the dock with about three rods on the deck, and I'm going to catch them or I'm not. But, it, dude, it's a Bassmaster Classic. That's what you do, you know. I've been here six times. It's not my first time, and I'm thankful for every single one. Don't get me wrong, but 
I'm gonna go for it this week. I really am. Kim, a lot of a lot goes into the process of the classic. Anglers have to get everything ready, and there's always great women behind these anglers to get it done. For you this week, what's your message to your husband on maybe accomplishing a lifelong dream, but keeping him calm, cool, collected, yet firing him up just the right amount to where he's 15 fish from winning it? Well, he's been dreaming about this since he was three. I mean, he told his granddaddy and his parents when he was three, what do you want to be? A Bassmaster Elite. Well, there he is. He's already got that dream. The next one is to get that trophy home. So I just told him, I said, go out. We pray in the morning, we get it done. The rest is up to God and you. You all figure it out. So he's gonna figure it out. You mentioned, Brandon, having three rods on your front deck Friday when you leave the dock. It might be four, it might be two, but that style, that mentality, you're, not, I probably, you're probably not gonna pull many more out of that throughout the day. If everything goes to plan, you're gonna just keep three. For folks at home, it doesn't matter if you finish last in the Classic. Everyone gets paid. But man, you really don't remember second, you don't remember third, you don't remember 54th. To win this event could really set your career off in a trajectory that you probably hoped it would your whole life. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, I've got a couple of top tens in classics. You know, I finished in the top 10 at uh, a couple of Tennessee River Lakes, the last two. So, you know, I've done well, I've been in the Super Six, I've done all, and all that is a great experience. But dude, I watched one of my best friends, Ot Defoe, I watched him hold that trophy. And I, I want to do that. I want that. You know, that's what we all want. That's what we all dream of. So we're going to go for it, man. We'll, we'll see. There's no more finishing good for Brandon Lester in the Classic. It's only finishing great, correct? First place or nothing. Kim, Brandon, appreciate y'all. Enjoy the night. We'll see you tomorrow at Media Day and then Friday at First Cast. We go from one of the rock-solid Elite Series pros, Brandon Lester. And we're going to bring in Frank and Christy Talley. Frank. Frank the Tank, Temple, Texas, not far, not far, probably the closest classic you could pro probably have to your home. And now you're an Elite Series champion from last fall. You're probably much more comfortable winning than you maybe were before. What about winning in your home state in Texas? Oh, brother, I would, uh, I'd give my left tooth to, to be able to win up here in uh, Fort Worth, you know. I mean, that would be the ultimate thing with all the family, fans, and friends and stuff, you know, no doubt. But... You know, it's a it's a marathon, not a sprint. So we'll just take one day at a time. You know, even if I uh, just got to make sure you can't win the classic on day one, but you can lose it. You hear that all the time. But you can actually, you can you can put a good stamp on it if I can catch a big sack the first day. You know, and then hit par the next two days, and we'll see what happens. You wouldn't mind making day two and three of the classic boring if you just knock 35 out on day one, correct? Oh, no doubt, no doubt. 35, you're gonna hear me scream all the way back to Temple, Texas. Christy, we all know Frank. He's the tank. Tanks are rigid, rock solid, maybe a little intimidating. This guy's a big teddy bear, a big family man. To see as many Elite Series pros excited for him to win last year as, as they were, and then to see him kind of get in that groove, it's got to be very exciting for, as a wife, to, uh, to an angler, to see your husband really start to gel at his dream career. And now he gets to experience the classic again. It's amazing. It's amazing that, you know, I was just talking this morning, We've gone years of me watching people in the bus, going in the expo center, in their boat, and it just amazes me to think that could be us. That could be us someday. We could, we'll load all 20 of the family up in the boat and we'll ride that expo center and love every minute of it. Um, but I'll be crying like a baby. I'll be crying like you've never seen before if it's us. Frank, Christy, we appreciate y'all. We're excited for to honor all of you guys tonight at Night of Champions. Just keep him in line until Friday, first cast, okay? Just keep him in line. Frank, we appreciate you. Yes, sir. Enjoy the night. Grab the big stick, braid, and a rodent, and let's get to work. Frank Talley's excited to fish. One of five anglers in the state of Texas this week. And now we're going to welcome in another angler. I mentioned Frank Talley from Texas. We're going to bring in another angler from Texas. Cody, who do we have here with you as well? This is my wife, Kathy. Uh, Cody and Kathy, Cody, you got here by winning one of the hardest ways to make it, winning a Bassmaster Open, 200 anglers, all skill levels, locals, national pros, guys like you have fished the Opens for a long time. Now you're here in your home state, shot at the Classic. That's got to be awesome. Yeah, it is, man, and that was a good win. You know, uh, it's funny, it took me so long. I, I'd had two seconds, a third, four, fifth, six, and three sevenths before I won that tournament, you know, so I'd been knocking on the door with it. 
But uh, I'd also like to say I noticed all these guys got cowboy hats on in here, and I didn't wear mine. Uh, I rode bulls for 12 years, and I won the bull riding over here at Billy Bob's two or three times. And uh, this is my stomping ground over here. More, I, I didn't ever fish Ray Roberts a bunch. Uh, fished it two or three times, but I hung out over here a lot, so it's kind of cool for me to come back. The Stockyards is a really cool place in Fort Worth, and it's got to be real comfortable. Anglers are looking at their GPS, trying to figure out where to turn. Cody Bird and, and Kathy, you guys just know where to go. How exciting is it to see him accomplish a goal? He's been doing it his whole life. Yeah, he, he's earned it, and I'm so proud of him. That's fantastic. Cody, you're one of five anglers in Texas fishing the Classics this week. Good luck to you. We appreciate you. Enjoy the night. Take it all in. But Friday, that's when it gets serious. Awesome. Cody, Kathy Bird. We're excited to have all of these anglers as we usher Cody and Kathy off the stage. We're going to wrap it up. Night of Champions, it's just ending on Facebook Live, but it's just getting started here at the Stockyards. We're excited to bring you the 51st Academy Sports and Outdoors Bassmaster Classic presented by Hook here in Fort Worth, Texas. Lake Ray Roberts just up the street, about an hour drive. 54 anglers. Someone's going to be a champion on Sunday. I'm Ronnie Moore, one of the Bassmaster Live hosts. Excited to bring it to you. And you can watch it all Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Bassmasterlive.com and on Fox Sports.